Are you wondering how you can create an embossed effect in Illustrator? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andre Marius. I've been working in Illustrator for over 10 years. And in this Envatotas Plus tutorial, I'll put my experience to use as I show you step by step how you can create this embossed text effect using Adobe Illustrator. To complete this tutorial, we'll use this knickknack font, which you can get from Envato Elements, where you can get unlimited downloads of stock videos, music, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more, all ready to use and with simple commercial licensing. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Let's move to Illustrator to create a new document. Select pixels from this drop-down menu. Set the width to 850 and the height to 500 pixels. Make sure that the color mode is set to RGB and the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. And then you can click this button to create your new document. Press Ctrl and 0 to fit the artboard on your entire screen. Now go to Window in the menu bar and first of all make sure that the control panel is active. And then open all the panels that have this check mark. Once you're done, you can start by selecting the rectangle tool from your toolbar to create the background. Simply click on your artboard to create a new shape. Let's set the width to 850 and the height to 500 pixels. Click OK to create this new rectangle. Select the stroke and remove the color. Select the fill and replace this white with 124, 109 and 254. Now move to the control panel and make sure that the alignment is set to artboard. And then just click these two buttons to easily move your ship in the center of the artboard. Move to the layers panel and lock this shape to make sure that you will not select or move it by accident. And now you can continue with the type tool to add your text. Focus on the control panel to select that knickknack font. Increase the size to 130. Center your text and then just click on your artboard to type in your text. Press the escape key when you're done. Use again these two buttons to move your text in the center of the artboard. Remove the current text color and then use this button from the appearance panel to add a new fill for your text. Keep this new fill selected and replace the color with 97, 83 and 242. Return to the appearance panel and add a second fill for your text using the same button. Keep it selected and replace the color with 104, 90 and 253. With this fill still selected, let's go to Effect, Restore and Transform and Transform. First of all, check this middle top reference point and then you need to lower the vertical scale to 97%. As you can see, this adds a subtle shadow in the bottom edge of your text. Click OK to apply this effect. Make sure that your top fill is still selected and let's add a new one on top of it using this same button. Replace this color with 142, 127 and 254. Go again to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. Check again this top middle reference point and this time you need to lower the vertical scale to 94%. Click OK to apply this effect. Return to the appearance panel to add a new fill. Replace this color with 136, 121 and 254. Go to Effect and Apply Transform, which will apply the same transform effect that you used for the previous fill. Reselect your top fill and go to Effect and Transform to apply a second transform effect. For this effect, you need to check the bottom reference point and increase the vertical scale to 99%. Click OK to apply this effect, which will add this subtle highlight on the top edge of your text. Reselect the top fill and add a new one on top of it. For this one, you need to replace the color with 124, 109 and 254. Apply the first transform effect. 
check the top reference point and set the vertical scale to 94%. Click OK. Reselect your top fill and apply the second transform effect. This time check the bottom reference point and set the vertical scale to 97.5. Click OK to apply the second transform effect. Reselect the top fill and this time go to Effect, Stylize and Inner Glow. Change the blending mode to normal and lower the opacity to 25%. Increase the blur to 10 pixels and make sure that this edge box is checked. And then don't forget to replace this color with 97, 83, and 252. Click OK and OK to apply this effect. Return to the appearance panel to select the bottom fill. Let's duplicate it using this button. Now select the bottom fill, keep it selected and go to Effect, Stylize and drop shadow. You need to change the blending mode to soft light, lower the opacity to 20%, set the offset values to 0 and 2, also lower the blur to 0 pixels and make sure that the color is set to black, and then you can click OK to apply this first drop shadow effect. Keep your bottom field selected and go again to effect and drop shadow to apply a second drop shadow effect. For this effect, you need to lower the opacity to 10% and set the vertical offset to 3 pixels. Click OK. Let's apply one more drop shadow effect and increase the opacity to 40% and also set the vertical offset and the blur to 5 pixels. Click OK to apply this third drop shadow effect. Return to the appearance panel and add a new fill using this button. Let's drag it in the bottom of the appearance panel below the rest of your fills. Keep it selected and apply a drop shadow effect. You'll need to increase the vertical offset to 15 pixels and the blur to 10 pixels. Click OK to apply the effect. Return to the appearance panel. Make sure that your bottom fill is selected and duplicate it. Now focus on the bottom fill and open the existing drop shadow effect. Lower the opacity to 20%, increase the vertical offset to 20 pixels and the blur to 15 pixels. Click OK to apply this effect. Get back to the appearance panel to duplicate this bottom fill. Again focus on the bottom fill and open the existing drop shadow effect. You need to lower the opacity to 10%, increase the vertical offset to 25 pixels and the blur to 20 pixels. Click OK to apply this final E effect. And with this final touch, your embossed effect is complete. Finally, if you wish to apply this embossed effect for other pieces of text from your design, you can focus on the layers panel, hold down the Alt key and click the target icon that stands for your embossed effect and just drag it on top of your other text. Or you can use the graphic styles panel. Select your embossed effect and click this button to save a new graphic style. And then you can select your other piece of text and apply this graphic style. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. I'm Andre Marius and I'll see you in the next video.